Here we meet again. Xi'an Yuan, the eldest miss of Donghe Group, is tasked with saving their Xi'an branch from bankruptcy. At this time, she meets her former crush, Yanxi, once again. In their school days, Xi'an Yuan pursued Yanxi with all her might to no avail. Reunited as adults, she is trying to save her company while he is deep in the mud due to problems in the workplace. Despite facing inequality, he is determined to pursue his dream to become a navigation engineer. In the process of dealing with the company crisis, Xiang Yuan gradually learns to take matters into her own hands. The two come to support each other as they realize their dreams. Till the end of the moon. In an era when demons have dominion over cultivators and mortals, the cultivator elders believe it is imperative to send someone back in time to discover the origin of the demon lord and prevent his resurrection. Li Su accepts the mission and assumes the identity of mortal Zi Wu. The second daughter of General Ye, she is married to Tan Tai Jin, the captive prince and future Diamond Lord, and is determined to destroy him. Aware that in the future he will come to massacre many, but as witness to Jin's past life and rise to power, an unexpected tale emerges. One complicated her quest. The ingenious one, Yun Xiang, a disciple of Yun Tai, entered the world to exact revenge on his massacred family after 15 years of cultivation. While traveling and though lacking any martial arts skills but having an incredible intelligence about him, Yun Xiang met several friends who shared his aura of intrigue and mystique. Yan An, an orphan taken in by Yun Xiang's master, possessed amazing martial arts skills but also had many secrets she was hiding. Jin Biao was a master swordsman with a sense of his own justice and Su Mingzhu, who hid his skills and due to his travels possessed an uncanny ability to understand almost every martial arts skill and named as well as its weakness yun ziang and his friends spent a period getting to know each other through various means of unveiling secrets to determine whether they were really friends or foes with the ever growing in depth investigation of past tragedies yun ziang unearthed more appalling secrets and things began to unravel as much was not as he had originally thought including yun tai itself throughout all of this he and his friends experienced deception betrayal and many life and death struggles the love you give me 5 years ago a young woman named minhui accidentally fell for a young man named zinki but things between them were complicated because minhui was pretending to be zinki's long lost childhood friend in a misguided way to help the friend who had died suddenly furthermore zinki suffered from a dangerous and potentially life threatening heart condition and minhui now desperately in love didn't want to see him suffer It didn't help matters that each time she tried to tell him the truth, he would cut her off, not believe her, or his heart condition would relapse. When he finally learned the entire truth, he cut all ties with her. Now, five years later, they are reunited at a business event in the most uncomfortable situations. Minhui has risen to become R and D assistant to one of the directors at a tech firm, and Zinke has almost made a name for himself as the CEO of an investment firm. Deciding that fate has brought them back into contact for a reason. Zinke decides to take all of his previous anger and betrayal out on Minhui, but fate also reveals that Minhui has a son who is suffering from the same exact heart condition as Zinke, making him realize through a series of events that he is the father, much to the adorable boy's delight. Love of replica. Waking up after a horrible car accident, Zizi quickly realizes that something is very wrong. Unable to remember anything from her past, Zizi has no idea where she is or who she is. She only knows that it takes exactly one look at her bodyguard, Jin Yan, for her to fall in love. Zizi is the daughter of a very wealthy family, struggling to remember herself. Zizi learns from a stranger, who turns out to be her childhood friend, Bi Fan, that she isn't the daughter of the Zhu family at all. Simply someone who looks exactly like her, and her real name is An Yu. After learning the truth, An Yu sets out to uncover the truth between her own past and to find the real Zizi with Jin Yan by her side. Harboring secrets and a painful past, however, Jinyan at first hides his true agenda from An Yu. See Midsummer Night Stars again. The story follows a heroine, Xiao Xia, who poses as a jewelry con artist to trick people into buying fake expensive jewelry. She meets our hero, a spoiled rich young master of a jewelry company, who ran away after stealing a precious necklace from his family. They become friends and he also happens to be the only person who believes her when she is telling the truth and encourages her to step out of her past mistakes and pursue a career as a jewelry designer. She in turn helps him see the value of jewelry and his family's hard work. Sweet and cold. 
In the eyes of other people, how Tian is a woman of strength and beauty. Everyone saw how she started from nothing and jumped through countless hurdles in her entrepreneurial journey. However, only a few know of her painful past. Because of her fast wedding, she has unexpectedly gotten acquainted with Seeming, the young and promising CTO of Lingzi Group. After many unexpected situations, the two grew from their misunderstandings as rivals to become partners. Yet the glaring problems that follow cannot be ignored. Back from the brink. After a lover's betrayal, the ancient dragon Tian Yao found himself badly wounded and heartbroken. The woman he loved betrayed him by stripping him of his dragon bones, then sealing them in four directions. Only by luck did his soul escape. Now reborn, he encounters Yan Hui, who vows to protect him as he retrieves his missing bones. Discovering a seal within a lake, Tian Yao sees his opportunity. After meeting Yan Hui, Tian Yao became hopeful, knowing she possessed a dragon that could break that seal. Tian Yao uses Yan Hui to retrieve his stolen body parts. Yan Hui then plans her escape, only to fail. Surprisingly, she finds their relationship deepening over time. Tian Yao admires Yan Hui's repeated efforts to save him. While Yan Hui appreciates the strong bond they have created, mysteries will abound as Yan Hui comes to learn of her true origin. The Road to Ordinary. Pan Yan is a trainee lawyer of Ronke Law Firm. He and Xu Yinan, Zhuo Na, and Xin Xin, who entered Ronke's internship at the same time, encountered confusion when they first entered the workplace. During the internship, they are exposed to various types of litigation commissions. As trainee lawyers, they can neither undertake the litigation entrusted by the client nor determine the direction and strategy of the litigation, but they all hold the original intention of respecting the law and consciously prepare materials and make suggestions for each litigation. Growing pains are not only in the workplace but also in the family. In the end, under the guidance and help of Lan Hong and Du Fiu, senior partners of the law firm, and after frank communication with their parents, they all grew up warm and sweet. Nanfi and Jiayi are a pair of besties who are both over 30 years old and facing social pressures from women. Nanfi's boyfriend Chen Peng is going through a career change and he is hesitant about marriage. In a story that follows the lives of two contemporary women over 30, Nanfi and her boyfriend Chen Peng are a couple whose relationship is on the rocks. He is busy with his career and hesitant to get married. Furthermore, troubles from the ex-wife and family problems exacerbate the situation. On the eve of a wedding, Jiayi suddenly realizes that marriage should be for love rather than security. She then bids goodbye to her selfish and snobbish husband and finally meets her true love in Jiao Yu. However, she is unsure about moving forward with him because of her inferiority complex. Meanwhile, Nanfi treks to poverty-stricken areas to help people who were born with defects or were injured but did not have the money for plastic surgery regain their confidence. Through working together on a home renovation, Jiayi and Jiao Yu gradually develop feelings for each other. After thousands of turns, Nanfi and Chen Peng, as well as Jiayi and Jiao Yu, learns to see their hearts clearly and realize the true meaning of a better life.